Hey, it's Joe Lyons from The Automator, and this is an extract from our Intro to VS Code course. The course is mainly centered around using VS Code and not really Auto Hotkey. We do touch on how to configure Auto Hotkey and do those things, but it's really about how to use an editor or really an IDE because IDEs are incredibly powerful, and VS Code is the Ferrari of editors. It's by far the most popular editor out there, uh, IDE out there right now. So, uh, hope you enjoy it. If you like it, you can. Uh, we have the course. I believe is over four hours long, and of course, we have a double your money back guarantee. So, there's absolutely nothing at risk if you want to try it. Hope you enjoy it. If you learn something here, please like the video. It really helps us out. Have a great day. Cheers. Another feature that is great that I haven't seen very often in other editors or IDEs that are related to, uh, for example, auto hotkey specifically, is the fact that you have what is called smart renaming of symbols. So uh, symbols are mainly things like variables, functions, and classes, things like that. Those are what are called symbols. and Whenever you're renaming those guys, what we used to do is either manually go, whatever I wrote that variable name, I would manually go there and rewrite the name. Then we had the find and replace tool. And now with modern IDEs like VS Code, you have smart renaming in which if you are inside a function and change the name of a variable, it will change it everywhere inside that function, not outside of it, because usually uh, variables are local to that function, right? So for that reason, uh, whenever you're renaming, especially when using this particular feature, you don't have to worry about renaming something that was not supposed to be renamed, which is what would happen if you use the find and replace tool, because the find and replace tool just, just goes around in the file, in the full file, and renames everywhere it finds that particular word, but it doesn't take into account the context in which that particular word was found. But within VS Code, and especially with the extension for the language that you're using, and I'm talking from my point of view with AutoHotKey V2, that's a great little tool because now VS Code takes into account the context in which it finds that variable and goes ahead and renames it just within that context. So if the context is local to a method or function, it would be inside that function only. But if the variable is global, it would rename it globally. And this is the cool thing, not only in that one file that you're working with, is globally in any other file related to the workspace that you're in. That's one of the reasons why workspaces is so great, like having that feature uh, and opening a folder instead of just opening a file. Because if you open the folder, all the files within that folder are treated at, as part of the project and the editor will look at the context. And if you change the variable in one file, they will be rename, renamed in all the other files that uh, follow that particular context. So great little tool, great time saver, and it removes the worry of did I renamed something that I shouldn't have. In this case, you don't have to worry about those kind of things.